Alright, welcome back. This is part 12 of my complete uh, upload site tutorial, file upload site tutorial. And in the last video, we completed our user login. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to do our user log out. So, uh, we're going to minimize this. We're going to create a new file, and we're going to call it logout.php. And we're going to open it up. And really, if you wanted which actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the entire code for the login page and I'm gonna paste it into the logout page and then I am going to get rid of all the PHP code right here so we have this and we're gonna change the title to logout so we have our image um, and everything. So, first thing, I'm going to go to the status page. I am going to go right here. We're going to throw in a break, and we're going to create a link. So, this is what is displayed currently if a user is logged in. Uh, this is displayed on the home page. So, we're going to create a link that's going to take us to our logout page. So, logout.php and we're going to say logout so if we save that we refresh we have a logout link so it takes us to our logout.php page and we can go back home so uh, we're going to go to our logout page and inside of our login box first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the username so username equals dollar sign underscore session and this is uh, user and we're going to say if our username, so dollar sign username, so if username, so if a user is logged in, we are going to log the user out. But if a user is not logged in, we are just going to display a message saying you need to log in, pretty much. So we're going to echo and actually what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go to the login page and I'm gonna grab this right here and I'm gonna paste it in here so I'm going to say you must be logged in to log out please log in below um, now you might not want to do this necessarily, uh, but why not? So grab this form <clears throat> and just throw it up here. Okay, so if we just go to our login page and a user is not logged in, this is what we're going to have displayed. But if a user is logged in, we're going to log the user out. So to log the user out, we use the session underscore destroy uh, function. So session underscore destroy, this is the code that physically logs the user out. And then we will display a message and control X, control V. And inside of here, we will say, You have been logged out. And we cut that out by accident. Okay, so we're going to test this out. So we're obviously already logged in. This is continue on from the login we did at the end of the last video. If we click log out, you have been logged out. So if we go back to the home page, you see our form is displayed, which means that we're logged out. So, if we go back to our logout.php page, you see, you must be logged in to log out. So, please log in below. So, we have our login form right here. So, everything's working fine. So, that is the logout uh, page slash script. So, now what I'm going to show you is, I'm going to show you how to automatically redirect once a user is logged in or logged out. Um, so, what we're going to do is when we log in, 
we're going to make it automatically redirect after five seconds or so. It's going to automatically take us to our home page, which is our index.php. And when we log out, it's going to do the exact same thing. So let's do it on our login page first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll up, and where we have our body right here, I'm going to hit Control X. So I'm going to get rid of it. And then I'm going to hit get rid of it down here as well. So I'm going to save. So if I go to the login page, login, you see we have no visible change. The reason being because that's just sort of a developer uh, little bonus thing right there, um, which is kind of nice. It's really only for developers and truly really only people who look at code that will see it. But it is great for using the on load function. Now, we are going to use the on load function, and I'm going to type in double quotation marks here, and I'm going to put uh, backslash or forward slashes right in front of our double quotation marks so they will not mess up our echo code. Now, in here, we're going to uh, use the timeout function. Uh, and b before we do this, we're going to go to our JavaScript page. I'm going to scroll up to the top, and I'm going to create a new function. And I'm going to call this function redirect. Whoop. So we have a function called redirect. Now we're going to say window dot location equals, and right here inside of this these double quotation marks, we want to put where we're going to go. So index dot php. Now if you're using a live server. Or if you're using, if you're actually going to upload this to the web on a server, you might want to put your uh, your website URL right here. So yeah. So if we go back to our source code, see right here, we're going to use the timeout function. And the timeout function, what it's for is you can set a time limit that after a certain amount of time, uh, your your timeout function will automatically run a method or a function rather. And we're going to run our redirect function. So right here, we're going to say set, and then a capital T for timeout. So set timeout, <clears throat> and then we have this. Now inside of here, the first par this takes two parameters. The first parameter is the function we're going to run, which is redirect, uh, and then there, and then we have a comma, or we need our single quotation mark, and a comma and then sing two single quotation marks. Now inside of here, you want to put 5,000. Now this is 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. So if we uh, log in using basic nick, say uh, password, 